The graph below in blue is f of x equals 1 fourth x squared minus 8, only graphed over the closed interval from 0 to 8, so that f of x is 1 to 1. Number one, we're asked to determine f of 4, which we can determine two ways. We can determine this graphically, or we can substitute 4 for x into the original function. If we sub 4 into the original function, the square of 4 is 16, 1 fourth times 16 is 4, 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Or if we take a look at this graphically, we would locate the point on the graph of f of x where x equals 4, which is this point here. Notice the ordered pair for this point is 4 comma negative 4, because the y value or output is negative 4 when x is 4. Again, we know f of 4 equals negative 4. Number two, we're asked to determine f prime of 4, which is equal to the slope of the tangent line at this point. To do this, we'll first find the derivative function and then evaluate the derivative function at x equals 4. So given f of x, we know f prime of x is equal to the derivative of 1 fourth x squared minus 8, which is 1 fourth times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, and then minus the derivative of 8, which is 0. Simplifying, we have 1 half x. And therefore, f prime of 4 is equal to 1 half times 4, which is positive 2. So again, if we were to sketch the tangent line at this point, it would look something like this and the slope is equal to positive two. Number three, we're asked to graph f inverse of x on the same coordinate plane. There's a couple ways we can do this. Recall if we graph a function and its inverse on the same coordinate plane, they're reflections of one another across a line y equals x, which I've graphed in red. But also, if we take a look at our notes, if f of x is both invertible and differentiable, then f of a equals b implies f inverse of b equals a. This indicates if the graph of f of x contains the point a comma b, then the graph of f inverse of x must contain the point b comma a. Let's use this to find several points on the graph of f inverse of x. Well, to begin, if f of x contains the point four comma negative four, negative four comma four must be a point on the graph of f inverse of x. Let's go ahead and plot that point in green, which is here. And now let's find several more points on f of x and find the corresponding points on f inverse of x. Let's go ahead and use the y-intercept. Let's go ahead and use this point here, and let's go ahead and use this endpoint here. Let's find the ordered pairs for these points. We have zero comma negative eight. We have six comma one. And we have eight comma eight. So because the point zero comma negative eight is on the graph of f of x, Negative eight comma zero must be a point on the graph of f inverse of x, which is here. Similarly, if the point six comma one is on f of x, the point one comma six must be on f inverse of x, which is here. And finally, if eight comma eight is a point on f of x, eight comma eight must also be a point on f inverse of x. Let's go and sketch f inverse of x in green, which must pass through these four points and would look something like this. Notice how if we reflect f of x across the line y equals x, we do get the graph of f inverse of x, graphed in green. Number four, we're asked to determine f inverse prime of negative four. We can do this two ways. We could find f inverse of x, find the derivative, and then evaluate the derivative of f inverse of x at x equals negative four. But instead, let's use our notes above to determine this derivative function value. There's a relationship between the slopes of tangent lines and derivative function values at a comma b on f of x and b comma a on f inverse of x. f inverse prime of b is equal to one divided by f prime of f inverse of b, but we know f inverse of b is equal to a, and therefore we can say f inverse prime of b equals one over f prime of a. This indicates the derivative function values or slopes of tangent lines at corresponding points on f of x and f inverse of x are reciprocals of one another. Let's apply this definition for number four. We know that f inverse prime of negative four is equal to one divided by f prime of f inverse of negative four 
We know f inverse of negative four is equal to positive four for a couple reasons. If we look at the graph of f inverse of x, notice it contains the point negative four comma four, meaning when x is negative four, the output or function value is positive four. Or also, if we go back to number one, if f of four equals negative four, then we know f inverse of negative four must equal positive four. This gives us one divided by f prime of four. We found f prime of four on number two as positive two. Again, that's a slope of the tangent line to f of x at the point four comma negative four. And therefore, f inverse prime of negative four is equal to the reciprocal of two or one half or one divided by two. Looking at this graphically, if we go to the inverse function now and locate the corresponding point where x equals negative four, the point negative four comma four, if we sketch a tangent line at this point, which would be here, the slope of this tangent line is equal to the reciprocal of two or one half. Again, that's because four comma negative four corresponds to the point negative four comma four on the inverse function. I hope you found this helpful.